ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. I'm a single ladies. I'm a single ladies. I'm a single lady. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Valentine's Day. Yesterday is Valentine's Day, honey. I decided to, you know, spruce up a little bit, put on some eyeshadow, and come on camera. Okay, I hope you guys are doing good today. Shout out to all my single people out there, men and women. It's okay. I'm here for you. I'll be your internet girlfriend for Valentine's Day. So anyways, I hope y'all are doing good. I want to come out here and spill some tea, honey. So I want to talk about the whole Wendy Williams controversy. If you guys do not know, Wendy Williams is being blasted on social media. So what went down is that yesterday she had an episode. Um, and basically during that episode, she talked about this new phenomenon on social media that started about, I don't know, like a week ago or some shit. I don't know. I just started hearing about it about a week ago. And it's called Galentine's Day. I'm a single ladies. 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 Okay, so Valentine's Day is where a bunch of girlfriends get together who are single, who don't have husbands and boyfriends, and they decide to take each other out on Valentine's Day. So they're calling it Valentine's Day where the girls are just out doing themselves. I might participate in this. I don't know, but it's negative 10 degrees outside, so I don't know. I doubt it. I'll probably just stay home and, you know what I'm saying, chill with y'all, okay? So Wendy Williams was talking about this, and while she's talking about Valentine's Day, she starts going on a rant about how, you know, men should not be clapping for Valentine's Day. This has nothing to do with men. This is about women. You know, a man should not be wearing, you know, women's clothing. She's tired of it. Honey, she went in for like a good minute. Y'all go ahead and check out this news clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Look at here now, um, gay man. You'll never be the woman that we are. Wendy Williams is in hot water for controversial comments she made about the LGBTQ community. The TV host remarks came during her popular Hot Topics segment as she asked the audience about their plans for Valentine's Day. Clap if you're participating in Valentine's Day. Well, first of all, if you're a man and you're clapping, you're not even a part of this, okay? All right, you don't even understand the rules of the day. It's women going out and getting saucy and then going back home. Yeah, you're not a part. I don't care if you're gay. You don't get a mency every 28 days, all right? You can do a lot that we do, but I get offended by the idea that we go through something you will never go through. And stop wearing our skirts and our heels. <laughs> Just saying, girls, what do we have for ourselves? Suzanne. The menopause is coming soon for me. <laughs> right. Do I get that? They'll never get the menopause. No. I got the menopause. No. I still got dry under nose. My <laughs> pimple and my dimple disappeared. But look at here now, um, gay man. You'll never be the woman that we are. The outburst quickly sparked negative reactions from viewers watching at home. Access Hollywood has reached out to Wendy Williams for comment. She has yet to address the backlash, though she admitted that she stands by everything she says on air. So, you know, I tell you every day, and I mean this, and I'm gonna keep drilling it in your mind. It is so scary coming out here and sitting here by myself with my loose mouth and my slick humor, and you know, I'm by myself. I can't blame anybody but me. I mean, I. Right. <laughs> I, I can blame Norman? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll take some of the blame. See, I wouldn't even do that. Right. You know, like, um, um, woman enough. Yeah. To, you know. Yeah. I got this. All right, so you guys just checked out that news clip, and, you know, you saw Wendy Williams in her stance, you know. Now, what I say, I can stand by. This is my show, and, you know, there's nobody to blame but me. Well, you know, I knew that wasn't going to last.
Because this morning, she took to social media to release a tearful apology because the thought police from the LBGT community got on top of her head, okay? They went in on Wendy. They drug her on social media. They coined her homophobic. And, you know, the typical words that come out anytime you say something that they don't like. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Hi. Um... I'll start by saying I apologize. I did not mean to offend my LGBTQ plus community. Uh, on yesterday's show, uh, I did not realize until I got home and I watched the second running of our show here in New York. And I always watch when I can to critique my delivery or you know the cameras the lights the, the, the you know the audience the the camera like i i'm very persnickety about how i do my show and one thing that i can tell you right now is that i never do the show in a place of malice uh i understand my platform with the community from first grade to intermediate school to high school, to college, to radio, and now to TV. And um, I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just having a conversation. If you know me long enough, then you know. Bon vivant. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds fabulous. In my mind, it means live and let live, bon vivant. And I live and let live every day. Life is too short. I'm 55 years old, and maybe I sounded like your auntie, your mother, your big sister, or somebody out of touch. I'm not out of touch, except for perhaps yesterday, by saying what I said. So I deeply apologize and I deeply appreciate the support that I get from the community. <clears throat> I will do better. I appreciate you supporting me. Thank you. All right, so you guys just saw the video of Wendy crying tattoo tears. And begging for forgiveness and trying to explain herself. You know, this entire situation is just crazy to me. Now, let me say this. I have no issues with what people, you know, choose to wear. One of my really good friends, he wears women's clothing when he feels like wearing women's clothing. Other than that, he just dresses like a boy to each its own. But why is it that if people have an issue with that, they're not allowed to state that. Like, I don't get that. Like, to me, I feel like we're starting to walk a fine line between having an opinion and policing people's thoughts, okay? Because let's keep it real. A lot of regular straight women feel this way. Now, usually it's confined to kitchen table talk, but a lot of regular women feel this way. And I've heard regular women say this. Like, you know, I get tired of, you know what I'm saying, when I go get me a pair of skinny jeans, all the skinny jeans are gone in my size because all these young boys are wearing female skinny jeans. You know, so it's like... Why is it that she's not allowed to say that? Why does that make her homophobic? And shout out to the people in the LGBT community who see through the bullshit, who see through the nonsense, and who speak out against the small minority that wants to shame and silence everyone who says something that they don't like. I mean, it's really, really sad. Now, I do believe that she, for the most part, was joking, but I have to be honest, the way she was going in and there wasn't no smile on her face, I do feel like she is bothered by men wearing women's clothing and that she did mean that, but she tried to play it off with the joke. But my thing is that's okay she means that if a woman wants to say i don't like you know men wearing women's dresses that's an opinion how does that affect that person's life if you want to walk around here and live your best life in a chanel gown and some high heel shoes as a man that's your business nobody can stop you from doing that but why do you then feel like you can stop somebody from saying i don't like it I mean, it's insane. And what's so funny to me is that so many times people in the LGBT community, y'all are the most critical of people's fashion, of what people wear. I mean, I've watched, you know, gay men sit and drag women 
If they're not up to par, if their hair is not done, if their nails aren't done, if they're not looking, you know, how they feel like they should look, they will drag them for the filth. But then when somebody states, well, I don't like when men wear dresses. Now it's an issue. They should lose their show. You know, and that's what I don't like. It's like this whole mentality of just policing people's thoughts. You guys threatening Wendy and going off on Wendy, that's not going to make her change how she truly feels inside. And to me, I feel like she does not like men wearing women's clothing. I feel like that's really how she feels. But she's going to tearfully apologize and try to play it off because she doesn't want, you know, certain members of the LGBT community coming for her. And I think that's sad. I think people's opinions should not affect you that much. You should still if that's what you want to do, that's how you want to dress, you should be able to do that. Nobody should be attacked, you know what I'm saying, clown, made fun of for wanting to dress how they want to dress. But if somebody says, well, I'm not into that, I don't like it, then they should also be free to state that without fear of appraisal or losing their job. So I think it's really sad that, you know, you have this small minority in the LGBT community that wants to basically thought police everybody else. And it's not okay. Another thing I'll say this, I don't understand how Wendy equated gay men with wearing, you know, drag and, and dresses. Most gay Gay men, for the most part, just dress like regular men. They're not into women's clothing. They're not into anything feminine. So I thought that was kind of weird how she said that because most gay men are not into that at all, you know, but I feel like it's just too much of this fake outrage constantly on social media. And I'm tired of one group constantly being protected as if they're beyond reproach. Just like yesterday when I did my video on Amanda Seal, aka Amanda Smollett, um, shout out to everybody who actually watch the full podcast before forming a fucking opinion. I hate when people watch what I put online and I say you need to listen to the full show and then they get in their feelings after listening to only the first five minutes because everything that you were mad about, I clearly addressed in the full podcast. So kudos to y'all who actually pay attention, who support my podcast. And in a minute, I won't be posting any of my podcasts here on YouTube. Once I get enough sponsors, I won't have to post them here. They will simply just be on my podcast. But, um... That was one thing that I talked about later on in the podcast that Amanda tried to make excuses for Jesse and her and Lonnie were saying that anybody who came for Jesse came for him because he was gay. Dave Chappelle made fun of Jesse because he was gay. Absolutely not. People made fun of Jesse because Jesse was a fucking liar. His sexual preference and who he chooses to sleep with has absolutely nothing to do with it. And this is the mentality that I'm seeing nowadays, especially in the mainstream media, that as soon as it's something attached to somebody who's gay, you're not allowed to have an opinion. You're not allowed to say anything about the LGBT community unless it's praising them. You know what I'm saying? But it's like when you call something out or when you say you don't like something, it's an issue. And so that's what I don't like. You know, I don't like the fact that the mainstream media is sitting here saying that Jesse shouldn't be held to the same standards as anybody else just because he's gay. You know, he can't, he doesn't deserve to get drugged. Meanwhile, R. Kelly is a viral meme. You know what I'm saying? Pill Cosby's a viral meme, but we're not supposed to meme Jesse Smollett. Please have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Jesse Street Meat Smollett will continue to get memed, okay? But now back to Wendy. I feel like her apology was definitely sincere, but it's really sad that she even had to apologize for that because at the end of the day, you know, be it a joke or not, it was still her opinion. And I don't think that that should really affect anybody that deeply because I know the gay people that I know, they didn't get two shits about what Wendy Williams had to say. They're still going to live their best damn life, okay? So I don't know. I just feel like we are really getting to a slippery slope when people can't even make jokes or just say something without having to come back within 24 hours and apologize. When I saw the clip, I already knew that was coming. I said, people are going to get mad. They're going to keep dragging her and come tomorrow morning. Here comes the tattoo tears and the bags of, you know, support and sympathy and all this stuff. And I just think it's sad. And it just, after a while, if you can't stand in your own and say, you know what? I said it. It was a joke. If you can't handle it, oh, well. If we got to that point in society, it's going to be very, very interesting where we end up five, ten years from now. 1984 is really starting to become a damn reality, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Wendy Williams and what she had to say about men wearing women's clothing. Do you agree with her? Do you disagree with her? And then how do you feel about the LGBT community coming for her so much so that she had to release a tearful apology, honey? She had to cry tattoo tears to beg them to forgive her for the error of her ways, okay? So go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, honey. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. So let me know your thoughts on every Thing. All right, deuces.